All right, everyone. So we're gonna install an Anaconda environment, or actually we're gonna create one. Uh, so that allows us to keep our packages maintained and also in installing any future packages that Rasa is gonna need. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So first, I usually like to move into the directory that I have everything set up. So I have it in my desktop and in the Rasa folder. So now let's go ahead and create the environment. So we'll call it Rasa2, because I had a Rasa1 regular Rasa environment. And then let's do Python 3.7 and let it install. Let's say yes to this stuff. And let's let it do its thing for a little bit. And I'll come back as soon as it's all done. Now we have it. Let's go ahead and activate it. Perfect, now we have it active. And now that we're also in the folder we need to be, let's go ahead and install the requirements that were necessary for the RASA startup package. Um, give it a little while and it's gonna install everything. I'll come back as soon as it's all installed again. So as you can see, everything has been installed from the Rasa startup package. So we're ready to get going with the next steps. I'm gonna upload this as a separate video so that way um, people can easily follow along with a short video.